Hello everyone, thanks for joining back. Hope you enjoyed your day. Now, uh, today uh, is an exciting day because we are going to build live quantum computer circuit and we'll test the output. And what we'll do is, uh, I'm thinking about these things. First, we'll go to IBM Circuit Composer online and try to build it graphically. Then we'll try to understand basic concepts around it and check its output. And we'll also delve into somewhat discussions of quantum versus classical computer, what are bits and qubits, what are different gates. So without wasting time, let's go to IBM website. Uh, I'll add this link to the video as well. Now, once you go here, uh, you may get uh, sign up options. So sign up and once you sign up, you will be able to get inside this website. And uh, if it opens rightly, you should go to the dashboard here. And here, you, if you see on the right hand side, these are like different systems or cloud computers which are already available. These are uh, quantum available cloud computers. And if you see their sizes are given 5 bit, 5 bit, 14 bit and so on. Also, it is written how busy that uh, computer is, 35 jobs, 5 jobs, and so on. So what we'll do is we'll use a create a circuit option. If you click on this, uh, you will see this kind of screen, pretty colorful gates on the top. And then you will see the options of Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So what this means is basically these are different quantum bits. And uh, zero here means they are initiated to the zero zero as its initial state now on the left hand side there are different options you can explore this uh, which shows result circuit composer and notebooks so we are in circuit composer within circuit composer also you can have like different options like description of these bits q means quantum bits c means classical bits and similarly then uh, this is more about background coding of it and this explains uh, what output will look like so uh, let's start with this now to build our first circuit let's take example which is already given in this system so just click on this question mark and then click on circuit composer documentation uh, i'll just keep this one handy and uh, we can go back to our if you look at these tabs on the top there's like an ex title experiment now uh, let's follow this one by one what it tells us like if you go on the top step one is about go to composer circuit by clicking on its icon on the left hand side we are there click on the new circuit we have already done that and then it talks about uh, dragging a gate edge to q0 so let's do that one so we can drag this edge to q0 this is called hadamard gate we'll come back to that information later then we can uh, look into a few more steps where it says um, basically next apply cx gate from q0 to q1 so we'll apply q0 to q1 cx gate will be i guess this one and then uh, next step is uh, basically uh, trying to measure and uh, this is like basically measurement and measuring them into C bits and uh, this is our measurement so we can measure it this one and we want to measure the next bit and now the we uh, I've not gotten into details but the way the circuit works is on the top there are always qubits on the bottom there are like classic bits these classic bits are more stable than qubits and qubits are considered to be basic of uh, quantum computing so before like to get uh, we get into too much details let's try to run the circuit and see if uh, this is what is expected out of this uh, tutorial yeah so then we are expected to change the name and uh, after changing the name we have to select uh, where we have to run it and once we decide where to run that's it it will show us some answer so let's try to run that so go back uh, change the name from experimental title so let's call it q2 example and let's save it and from uh, change this to unsaved to saved once you do that there will be option to run 
Once you click on run, here will be option of choosing between simulator and choosing between one of the IBM computers. Now this is where uh, our knowledge of which computer is free would have helped, helped us. We can just check back. So what I'll do is I'll run in one of them. You can choose which one is more free at your end. Oh, it's giving me some error. Let's choose this one. Yeah, maybe. Cool. So once we do that, you will get an option saying that circuit Q2 example was sent to IBM QX2. And now you can explore this side where IBM Q2 result will be in waiting. And for my case, it is in like say um, in Q. So uh, ideally, they're like different steps from created to transpiling, validating in queue and running. So depending on which uh, IBM computer you got selected, uh, it will run and take some time. Uh, you can also check uh, your circuit design here and your coding, uh, which is equivalent to that circuit here, which was generated by the system by default. So I uh, will wait for the results. Okay, now let's go back and check for the results. In the results, either you'll find your case in the pending or in the completed. Mine completed some time back. I'll open it. Once I open, uh, what I'll see is a circuit and basically the same circuit which we designed and the output. Oh, nice. Now we have the output and what you see the output has different states. This 0001 is a kind of state and the probability of that state happening now i'm happy to see this okay let's try to understand this output now what we see is we created a circuit with five qubits and few classical bits where it is getting stored and we applied header mart and c not gate now to understand first what are different states we have to go with classical bits bottom up so if all the output was supposed to be zero and we count it like this from q4 to be the first bit here so then 0000, 0, 0, 0 means all output are zero and probability of that happening is roughly 10.93 percent now this is a typical case of a, a quantum computer which is not giving correct answer and there are some irregularities we'll come back to that later now let's go to the next one where it says 00001 basically it means all the output from q4 to q1 are 0 and q0 is 1 and probability of that happening is roughly 38 percent and similarly for next two gates so uh, expectation from this circuit was generally uh, like these two states would be 50 50 and that didn't happen and this is one of the problems where we are facing with the current state of quantum computers where they are not totally accurate what we can also do is we can go back to our circuit and if you remember we named it q2 example and we can run the same circuit this time and this time we'll choose simulator i'm just showing you if we run on simulator and we go back to results and let's see it is refreshing in the simulator yeah now complete so a uh, simulator output will be way more stable than what we saw for actual quantum computer that is my prediction let's see the results exactly so same circuit now we ran on a simulator and we have almost saying either it is zero or one and state is totally different from what we have got from our main circuit okay now we have understood the output so let's go to the third section we will explore the circuit more and try to understand few more fundamentals so let's create a new circuit now let's try to understand what are qubits and why are they different from classical bits so the way qubit is defined in quantum computer is based on basically quantum mechanics at the underlying state and that's a very different mechanism than what classical computer bits are and how they work and that's why at any point of time quantum state of a quantum bit or qubit can be either zero or one or anything intermediate 
next let's uh, try a few other gates so uh, first uh, what we can do is we can just measure few things so this block is for measurement and what you can do is you can just open this one uh, this one uh, it shows uh, what kind of coding is going on at the back end so if I add two measurements here or rather let's add two more so if I want to measure all of them yeah so all four qubits I'm trying to measure so how it is measuring is it's saying five qubits are registered oh, actually there are five and there are like classical registers are five and then we are measuring first qubit and first classical register and so on till q4 versus q c q c4 now uh, this visualization will basically help you understand what is the state vector or the possibilities of output and what we see here is possibility of output is 0 0 0 0 means all the output are by default 0 and that is true because we know everything was initialized to 0 now this is where different gates help you so if i get this x gate or we can call it like not gate c not gate basically now uh, you can directly see the state changing it becomes 0 0 0 1 because i've done it on the topmost bit if i move it here it will move there now if i move let's say see x gate into two two bits so it will be like 0 0 1 1 0 and this particular state will be 100% time because there is no other operation going on here. Now, what if we add this gate called edge or Hadamath gate here? Now, uh, state changes. The, we don't know whether it output of, of is going to be either 1 or 0 or it can be on either side. So basically, Hadamath gate sends qubit into an entangled state or superposition state where it is not sure whether it is 0 or 1 or in other terms it is in both the state or it is somewhere intermediate. All these properties of Hazamath gate which are superposition leading to entanglement and other interference are basically classical quantum mechanics property which is the underlying theory behind these quantum computers and that is co-differentiation between classical computers and quantum computers they have a very different underlying theory how computers work because mechanism in which these gates work and the states of 0 and 1 are very different so uh, we can check few more things here like barrier which has got no extra meaning and like these S gates and basically these gates but uh, maybe we'll take more detailed approach into gates for now you can click on this gates overview and read about it and this has details of how these gates work in the next sessions i'll get into details of these gates so let's go back to summarize what we did what we did is we went to ibm circuit composer we composed a simple circuit we went to check out its output and output was in four different state whereas expected output was only two state which we again confirmed by checking it into simulator so basically quantum computers are not very stable as of now then we understood this result and went on to understand few more details about classical versus quantum and bit versus qubit and what are different gates in next session i'll get into more details of what are different gates and how they work so stay tuned enjoy your time bye